Okay, students. Uh, one of the types of identities are x plus or minus y to the power of n. And n must be an element of whole numbers. It means it should be started from zero. Okay, in order to expand this identity, we are using this formula. It means, for example, if it's positive, it means x plus y to the power of n, it, n can be a, any whole number, all the terms should be positive. If it's negative, or it's, if it's minus, the first term will be positive, the second will be negative. The third one will be positive. Alternatively, it changes, okay? Pay attention to the expansion. How to expand the Pascal triangle? For example, x plus or minus y to the power of zero. We know that every number to the power of zero is equal to one. Am I right? Okay, or x plus or minus y to the power of one is equal to x plus or minus one. For, pay attention to the, this one, x plus minus y to the power of 2. Okay, the first term, x to the power of 2, because the power of the whole identity is 2. Okay, if it's positive, all the terms should be positive. If it's negative, then the second term will be negative. Okay, I will, I will tell you that how can we find the coefficients. Okay, first of all, we should uh, uh, check the variables. Okay, the second term. First term is 2, the second term, x will be 1. It means we are minusing just, or it, uh, it, we can say that it's a descending form, okay? 2, 1, 0, and at the first term, we, we don't have the variable of y. It means y in here, y to the power of 0. The second term, y to the power of 1. The third term, x will be x to the power of 0, and y will be y to the power of 2, okay? The third identity, x plus or minus y to the power of 3. At the first term, x is x to the power of 3. The second term, x will be 1 less power, it means x to the power of 2, and y, because at the first term, we had y to the power of 0. We didn't write it. Okay, the third term, x will be, the power of x will be 1 and the power of y will be 2. Okay, at the last term, the power of x will be 0. It means x to the power of 0 is equal to 1. We didn't write it. And the power of the y is equal to 3. Okay, and so on. We can use this, that formula in order to expand this binomial. Okay, and the coefficients, we are going to find the coefficient of the, this identity, this expansion by the Pascal triangle. It means if our uh, binomial is x plus y to the power of 0, the expansion is 1, the Pascal triangle, the coefficient is 1. In here, x plus or minus y to the power of 1, the expansion is 1x plus or minus 1y. Okay, see the coefficients. We take the coefficient from Pascal triangle. Okay, in the, at the third, uh, third expansion, Okay, we have 1, 2, 1. How, how did we find it? Look, 1 divided by 2 ones, okay? It means 1 and 1. At the third expansion, we added these two ones. It means 1 itself, 1 plus 1, 2, and 1 itself. It means the coefficient, the coefficient of x plus y to the power of 2 should be 1, 2, and 1. Look. 1, 2, and 1. And also, the coefficient of this binomial to the power of 3 should be 1, 3, 3, 1. It means the first term's coefficient should be 1. Second term's coefficient should be 3. Third one's also 3. And the fourth one should be 1. Look, x plus minus y to the power of 3. The coefficient of the first term is 1. Second term, 3. Again, 3. And again, 1. Look, 1, 3, 3, 1. And also, we use this rule to find the coefficients. Look, 1 plus 2 is equal to 3, 2 plus 1 is equal to 3, and 1 itself. Also, we can continue. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4, 1 itself. 1 plus 3 is equal to 4, 3 plus 3 is equal to 6, 3 plus 1 is equal to 4, and 1 itself. This was the coefficients of this binomial. It means x plus or minus y to the power of 4. This is the expansion, and we found the coefficients from here. Okay, dear students, now we are going to study how to factorize a binomial of the form a to the power of n minus or plus b to the power of n. Okay, we have a general formula for f n is equal to n element of a positive integer. Then we have 
x minus y, x to the power of n minus y to the power of n is equal to x minus y. The first parenthesis should be the binomial without any power. The second parenthesis is x to the power of n minus n1. We are starting the power one less than the power of the first binomial. x to the power of n minus 1 times y to the power of 0 plus x to the power of n minus 2. The power of the x is decreasing 1 by 1, okay? y increasing 1 by 1 plus x to the power of n minus 3, y to the power of 2, and so on. At the end, x to the power of 1, y to the power of n minus 2, plus x to the power of 0, y to the power of n minus 1. Okay? This is the factorization of the uh, binomial of the form x to the power of n minus y to the power of n. Now, let n is equal to 2m plus 1 n is equal to 2m plus 1. It means if n is, n is an odd number, 2m plus 1 is a sign for the odd numbers. And substitute, substitute minus y instead of y. Okay? Let n be an odd number and substitute y instead of, uh, minus y instead of y. So what do we get? x to the power of instead of n we have to write 2m plus 1 and substitute minus y instead of y this minus okay minus y to the power of 2m plus 1 so what do we get we get x to the power of 2m plus 1 plus y to the power of 2m plus 1 okay what's the general formula if our powers are odd numbers and the operation is if the operation positive okay what's the difference between these two expandations first at the first term you have to write x plus y okay this is the expansion of this x to the power of 2m okay we have list one power less than the first term okay 2m and here y to the power of 0 and alternatively the sign of the terms changes at the first positive the second one negative okay x to the power of 2m minus 1 y to the power of 1 okay sorry this is negative okay plus x to the power of 2m minus 2 y to the power of 2 and so on x to the power of okay at the last 2m Okay, sorry, x to the power of 1, y to the power of 2m minus 1 plus x to the power of 0, y to the power of 2m. Okay, this is the general formula if the power is odd number and the uh, operation between the terms are positive, okay? And, okay, okay, and here the power the power must be an odd natural number okay the power must be an odd natural number like this like this we do not have general method general method for the factorization factorization of the binomial binomial for a to the power of n plus b to the power of n when when n is a1 and natural number natural number okay we do not have any general method for the factorization of the binomial form a to the power of n plus b to the power of n when n is a1 and n is a natural number, okay? Okay, dear students, let's look to the examples of the binomial form a to the power of n plus minus b to the power of n. Okay, first questions, x squared minus y squared. What should we do? We have studied the general formula for that. Okay, at first, x minus y itself, x minus y itself. At the second parenthesis, x to the power of, this is n, and here n is equal to 2. Okay, we will start from n minus 
1. What's n minus 1? 2y minus 1 is equal to y. At the first, y is equal to 0. Plus, if it's minus, this first parenthesis is minus, and the second parenthesis, all terms are positive. Plus, x, okay, n minus 1, the second one is n minus 2. Okay, 2 minus 2 is equal to 0. Okay, and here y to the power of 1. Am I right? Okay, is equal to x minus y times y in here, y is 1, 1. x times 1 is equal to x plus x to the power of 0 is 1, 1 times y to the power of 1 is equal to y. So this is the expansion of first question. The second question, as the first question, x minus y, the first parenthesis, the second parenthesis, okay, n minus 1, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2, y to the power of 0, plus the second term, n minus 2, 3 minus 2 is equal to 1, x to the power of 1, and power of uh, uh, y is in increasing by 1, okay? Second, third term, x to the power of n minus 1, n minus 2, and n minus 3. 3 minus 3 is equal to 0, y to the power of 2, okay? We are continuing up to our power of x become 0, okay? Then the answer is x minus y, okay, and here y is equal to 1, here x is equal to 1, x squared plus y plus y squared, sorry, x squared plus xy plus y squared. The second, third questions. Okay, we have said that if the powers are positive, the powers are a1 and the operation is positive, we don't have any general method to factorize uh, that binomial, okay? But in here, the powers are odd. What should we do? The first parenthesis should be positive. When it's positive, first parenthesis, positive. When it's negative, the first parenthesis is negative, okay? And the second parenthesis alternatively changes. The first term positive, third one is negative. Uh, second one is negative, third one is positive, the fourth one is negative, okay? Okay, now, 3 minus 1 is equal to 2. x to the power of 2, y is in here, 0. Plus, the second term, sorry, it's minus. The second term, x to the power of 1, 2 minus 1 is equal to 1, y to the power of 1. Third one is positive x to the power of 0, y to the power of 2, okay? The answer will be x minus y times x to the power of 2 minus xy plus y squared. Okay, did you understand? If you have any question, just comment below. The fourth question. Okay, how can we factorize this binomial? First of all, we have to make it to this form. It means 16x to the power of 4. Can we write it like 2x to the power of 4? Okay? And 1 is equal to 1 to the power of 4. Doesn't matter. Did you understand? Okay. We can write like 2x to the power of 4 minus 1 to the power of 4. And here, what should we do? We should 2x minus 1. The first parenthesis, okay? The second parenthesis, because it's minus, all of the terms will be positive. Okay. 2x to the power of 3, okay? And here, the power of 1 is equal to 0. Okay, the second term. 2x to the power of 2, 1 to the power of 2, okay? The last one. 2x to the power of 1, 1 to the power of 3, okay? 2x to the power of 0, 1 to the power of what? 4. Okay, the answer will be 2x minus 1. Okay, 2x to the power of 3 is equal to 8x cubed. Plus, 2x to the power of 2 is equal to 4x squared. And here, plus 2x, plus 1. Okay? Did you understand? Okay. This was 
the factoriz factorization of the binomials form a to the power of n plus minus b to the power of n that was a branch of uh, factoring by identities okay if you have any question if you have any suggestion just comment below thanks for watching